without your involvement you can't succeed with your involvement you can't fail with this positive thought myself nandita disousa presenting you this lesson understanding ms word today we are going to take a look about ms word we will study part by part the powerful tool and how to use it let's start with the basics ms word is the most powerful typing program it is also called as word processor it is a part of ms office it has many features which makes your typing more attractive and easy to understand what can we do with ms word we can make changes in the text change the look of the text add pictures in the document check spelling mistakes and grammar copy and move the text save the text for future use preview the text before printing it and print a part or whole of the document now let's see how to start ms word to start ms word first you will have to click on the start button then you will have to click on all programs under all programs you will get microsoft office folder from this folder you will have to click on microsoft office word let's take a look on the components of ms word we have office button quick access toolbar tabs title bar horizontal ruler vertical ruler status bar ribbon groups working area vertical scroll bar and horizontal scroll bar this is called as application window now let's take a brief look on each of the components of ms word first component of ms word is office button the office button is found in the top left corner of ms word over here this is called as the office button when you click the button it offers a list of commands to perform different tasks which are new open save save as print prepare send publish and close so when we click on the office button a list of commands are displayed which are those new open save save as print prepare send publish and close what about the next component next component is called as the title bar on the title bar microsoft word displays the name of the document you are currently using this is called as the title bar and here you can see the name of the document which you are using presently i am using document 1 this is the name of my present document suppose if i name my file as class 10 then here the name displayed will be class 10 moving on to the next component that is quick access toolbar quick access toolbar lies next to the microsoft office button it gives you quick access to commonly used commands such as save undo redo etc when you click the drop down arrow next to toolbar it offers more commands here this is the microsoft office button and this is the quick access toolbar which lies next to the microsoft office button it gives you quick access to commonly used commands such as save undo redo you can see here save button right 
yes so when you click on this particular drop down arrow you will get some more commands the next component is control buttons the control buttons on the top right corner of the title bar helps to minimize maximize restore and close the window so these are the control buttons which has a minimize button a maximize and restore button and a close window the next component is ribbon ribbon is located below the quick access toolbar and the title bar it comprises seven tabs home insert page layout references mailing review and view ribbon is located below the quick access toolbar and the title bar it comprises seven tabs one is home tab insert tab page layout references mailing review view the next component is groups each tab within the ribbon has a group that is defined by vertical gray lines on each side and is labeled at the bottom center these are the groups which are located at the bottom center and are separated by vertical gray lines on each side the next component is working area the white area in the center of the word document is the working area it is the typing area in the word this is called as the working area this white area in the center of the word document is the working area this is the typing area in the word the next component is vertical ruler and horizontal ruler ruler is a scale and is situated on the left and top of the working area it is situated on the left and the top of the working area next component is vertical scroll bar and horizontal scroll bar the scroll bar allows you to view the unseen part of the windows frame the vertical scroll bar moves the document up and down and the horizontal scroll bar moves it left to right here this is the vertical scroll bar and this is the horizontal scroll bar vertical scroll bar moves the document up and down whereas this horizontal scroll bar moves the document left to right and the last component is the status bar the status bar is located at the bottom left corner of the working area this is the working area and this is the bottom left corner this is the status bar it shows the current page total number of words etc whereas these buttons are called as view buttons which shows the print layout read mode web layout and the last option over here is called as the zoom slider which is used to increase the size and view the working document so my dear students let's take a quick recap on what we studied first thing we studied is what can we do with the ms word we can change the text change the look of the text add pictures check spelling mistakes in grammar copy and move the text save the text for the future use preview the text before printing it and print a part or whole of the document then we saw how to start ms word first you will have to click on the start button then click on all programs followed by microsoft office and from there you will have to click on microsoft office word then 
we saw all the components of MS Word. First, we saw office button. Then, we saw title bar. Quick access toolbar. We learned about control buttons. Ribbon. Groups. Working area. Vertical ruler and horizontal ruler. Vertical scroll bar and horizontal scroll bar. And status bar. My dear students, I hope you have clearly understood the lesson Understanding MS Word. In our next video, we will be studying about the Home tab. Thank you for watching. Stay home. Stay safe. Let me wind up this lesson by teaching you one good habit. Rise early in the morning.